Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It is your favorite YouTuber here that nobody else knows about. It is Orion's Rifle, back with another video. Now, uh, we are still on risk of rain. This is probably what we're going to be doing for a while here, um, simply because it's a fun game, and I seem to like it quite a bit, and I, you guys seem to like it as well. Now, I did, I got the, uh, I got the Mercenary and Rex, um, I remember saying that I was going to get those in the last video, so I got those, I did not make a video on it, because to be honest, I don't know how I got the Merc, but I got Rex, uh, with some friends, and, um, I didn't even think that I was going to be able to, so, <laughs> I apologize for not making a video on these two, but thinking about making a video on Rex. I haven't leveled him up, or I haven't unlocked any of his skills or anything. So it might be fun to play as him. It's been a... I play, I've play. i played as him a few times, but I... Not very often. Not often enough to be, like... Not often enough to be as good as I am with Huntress. Alright, so as you can see, he's this little monster-looking thing. And he shoots these little darts. And he also shoots that. Boom. <laughs> it's a little mortar thing. Now, this is not things hitting me. This is my attacks. Um, he gets harmed by his own attacks, Rex does. Um, but he also gets healed by his attacks, by this attack here. The third dart of his attack uh, makes a... gives him health steals health from the creature. No, 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 no. Okay. Totally thought I was going to get hit by that. So yeah, Rex isn't personally my favorite. Personally, my favorite is Huntress, as you guys know. But um, Rex is definitely fun to use. He's a uh, he's a pretty good character. I've seen a lot of people play him, and a lot of people do pretty good with him. So maybe it's just me that don't like him. Maybe it's just my bias. I also don't like how slow he is, but that's an issue I have with a lot of characters in this game. So it's not exactly a character-based complaint. I will do the challenge of the mountain. Ah! Oh, yeah, um, I've been practicing up a lot since my last video, and, uh, you guys are going to definitely see what effect it's had on my playstyle. Um, as Huntress, I can get to stage, th uh, stage 5 by, like, the 30 minute mark now, and, like, it's just insane how much it helps. Like, not using, not buying everything that you can at once, and like, just kind of being, uh, being quick whenever the game first starts, rather than buying everything that you see, and then waiting until later in the game to actually buy everything that you see. Because later in the game is a lot more important for things that you see rather than things, uh, rather than time. Albeit time is still important, just like always, but it's not as important in late game as it is in... Oh, do I die here? Do I die? I don't think so. I might. But yeah, it's not as important in late game as it is early game, so... Oh, and by the way, I hate these things. I hate Wandering Vagrants so much. Oh, but I figured out a very easy thing for them. All you have to do is break eye contact. Or break the line of vision. Oh, I'm glad he died because I would not have been able to get somewhere quick enough for that. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I uh, this is like the second game of this that I've played today, 
so I'm still kind of warming up. Uh, but yeah. I'm also trying to get my aim down. I haven't really played him enough to get his burst fire attack down good enough. And as you can see, whenever you fire the burst fire attack, it does not um, take your health away. So it's really useful for gaining your health back after you use a really uh, strong ability. Here we go, on to stage two. Now, depending on how long I survive with this guy, uh, I might do a two-part on this. I have no idea how long I'll survive with him. Honestly, you never know how long you survive with the characters, because just how unpredictable it is, you know? What kind of RNG you get. RNG is random number generation, by the way. What kind of RNG you get, what kind of luck you get, what kind of bosses you get. That's very useful. That's very important what kind of bosses you get. And um, this chest here I really want because large chests are, have like pretty good items usually. And there's two large chests right next to each other. Wow, okay. Oh no. Alright, I'm not, I'm not scared. See, I'm not scared. All right, I'm 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 a little scared, but he's dead. So I really need to get my health back up. I can get it. What do you want to give me? Uh, oh, and I can get that other chest. Awesome. Ooh, and I got the feather. Regular chest. That's another regular chest. How much are these chests? 39. I'll get this chest right in front of me here. That way I don't lose too much time. Oh, sweet. Crit chance. Oh, hello, beetle guy. You guys may remember him from my last video. Alright, I think I have enough money for anything I could ever want. At least for a little bit. Oh, these are another thing that I need. Equipment. All right, so uh, how y'all been? How have you? How are you guys? Hey, it's the drones. This is reminiscent of a previous video that I made. Um, how you guys been? What you guys been up to? How you? How are you guys this weekend going? If this does get uploaded tomorrow, um, yeah. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? How are you guys' as weekends, weeks, days, nights, evenings, early mornings, late night, you know, whatever. How are your guys' whatever time it is for you going? <laughs> good? I hope so. If it's not going good, then it ain't going bad. Well, if it's not going good, then it might be going bad. It could be going bad, or it could be going mediocre, or it could be going good, you know. It's just up to you guys. How are you guys feeling? Anything interesting happened? Uh, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, feel free to leave a like. Do not hesitate. It is totally free. Won't charge you anything. Um, subscribe if you're new, of course. And uh, ring that bell so you don't miss anything more. Because, I mean, if you're missing it, then you're not really here, right? So, I mean, you really want to be here. Um, but yeah, turn on the notification bell so that you can get my next videos and stuff. So that I can keep you guys up to... Oh my goodness! 
why are, why are these guys a thing here already? It's just past the 10 minute mark and I'm already summoning these guys. Yeah, okay. Leave me alone. Stop it. No, 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 no. I'm not fast enough to deal with you yet. Wait. Oh, it's because I did the mountain challenge. No. No, no. That was that was stage 1. Why are these guys here? I'm honestly confused. Like, these are not... I've never went up against these guys on stage 2. Let alone any other stage. And I have to kill these guys. Okay, I really want to know why he's here, though. Because, I mean, like... He wasn't that difficult to kill, but still. A glacial enemy on, on stage 2. And it... it gives me a pretty good power up but I mean still that's just crazy all right I'm starting to see why people like this guy he kind of has a he's kind of fun to play he has a kind of a stressful play style as in not being very uh, fast or anything losing health just to do damage killing himself with his own attacks that's pretty cool I mean, pretty stressful, no? Uh, let's see what it, where it brings us. Ooh, score stakers. I like this place. A lot of people don't like this place because a lot of people think it doesn't have a lot of loot. But, it's for me, it's not the quantity of loot. It is the quality. And the fact that there's a large chest right here for a measly $128. Um points to the fact that quality is quite high. Not to mention there's a crowbar there, and crowbars are quite useful. I'll be able to afford the uh, large chest in no time as long as beetles keep spawning. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Think I can snipe that guy? Boop. Can I get him? No! Oh, I should've used my, uh, mortar. Yeah, I'm smart. Got him. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, and I hit someone else, too, I guess. Yeah, I really wish that you could save an exit on this game. That would make it so much easier to, uh, record on. Because then I wouldn't have to do everything in one take, you know? I wouldn't. I would be able to come back to it. Well, hello. And goodbye. Alright, I'll hit you guys up whenever something interesting happens. Uh, crit glasses. Yes, please. Sweet. Oh, and there's one of these things. Um, if I ever get like too much cash, I might get that. But I'm still in the really early parts. So I'm not really getting a lot of money at this point. So I'm really thinking that I'm not going to be buying a lot of stuff. It's better to have a better time in this game than it is to have better stuff. And that's one of the points of this game that I struggle with the most is not saving up to get, like, the chance shrines and stuff like that. Like these two chests here, that the medic chest and that orange one there. I think it's called a combat chest, but I don't know. But yeah, those two chests, um, I'm definitely going to save up for because they always have a guaranteed either medic ad item, um, combat item for the orange chest, or a purple chest has a utility item, which is like, I think it means like old guillotine and stuff like that. And now I can get both of them. And I actually didn't take too long, so that's good.
Here's the other one. Oh, and uh, also, I figured out just now that you can, like, tag them. No, 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 no. You cannot. Never mind. That's just with them guys. I thought that you could tag them with the mortar and, like, track them as it comes down. That would be pretty cool, though. But, my thoughts wronged me. Oh, it's sweet. Alright, what you gonna get me? Oh, this guy usually poses zero threat to me. I'm surprised it wasn't a glacial one. Thanks to what happened in the last stage. Ah, 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 ah. Don't get me wrong, I love this game, but it is so stressful. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate the gunners, and this is why I hate the gunners. <laughs> ah! Leave me alone! Oh, drones! Drones, I forgot I had drones. Alright, he's dead. Imp Overlord is clearly not that overlordish. Oh, here. Get stuck. Alright, I'm gonna try and get around him. Never mind, but he's almost dead anyway, thanks to my drones. See, drones are so helpful. I love them. Especially in early game. Aw, oh, he's trying to pull me closer. Alright, well. Now that our terrifying event of terror is over. Never mind, it's not over quite yet. Now that it's 75% over. Um, how are you guys enjoying this? How are you guys liking this? I uh, read your comment. <laughs> uh, and I hopefully am delivering you some decent gameplay. Oh, did that count? There's this glitch that you can do while you're teleporting to get money uh, before killing anything. Oh my goodness! That was... No. That was bad. That was horrible. That scared me to my very core. So Brecken, how's your day going? Oh, not too bad. Spawned into stage four with a frickin' Elder Lemurian spawn right in front of me. And there's a lot of them guys that I do not like. Leave me alone! Them guys are elites, and uh, they hurt. But if you kill them first, then they don't hurt them as bad. No, 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 no. That's how I die! Oh, also, I try not to buy drones anymore, because they die too quickly. Oh, and also, uh, before you ask, yes, the attack speed works on this guy. I want you to die before you can shoot at me. Thank you. Alright, teleporter is right there, but I'm going to loot for a minute. Because it still is around, or it's only on the 20 minute mark, so I don't really have to worry all that much about super overpowered things. Defiant Gouge. Using a shrine summons enemies. That's oh, that's good. I mean, more money. Alright, so um, I'm beginning to figure out how to use this guy. I'm thinking um, mortar, 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 <laughs> and then shoot the little burst fire thing at the weaker enemies to regain your health. Sounds kind of... Uh, Sounds pretty use. Sound it's been working pretty good. And when there's a lot of enemies nearby, use the R1 ability there. Oh, hello! Will you stop moving so much so that I can shoot you right in your face with a mortar? Ow! 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 I know they're not doing a lot of damage to me, but it's still scary. <laughs> 
And when I get frightened, I go... Ow. Especially in this game. Got him. Ah! And then he got me. He had a vengeance that would only be cleansed by my soul. No more boxes close. Nope. Not that I can see, so I'm gonna do this. Magmorm. Magmorm. <coughs> Mag it's a magmorm. Ow. He I just headbutted that fireball. I hate... Ah! Okay, so those guys, um... Them guys are brass contraptions. And if you do not have the Huntress that auto-aims, they are so incredibly hard to hit. Because on console, not on PC, but on console, um, unless you hit their bell, that little tiny, the little tiny bell in their center part right there, unless you hit that, they are impossible to hit. Your, your, uh, your projectiles just go straight through them. And it is immensely annoying. Especially whenever you're in a boss fight, because then you have to focus all of your aim on these guys, because they can kill you in, like, three hits, even if you have gr grand health. Yeah, they can kill you very easily. Um, even if you have good health. So... Don't even get me started on the elites. But, okay, that one's dead. Oh, no. Oh, hey, I have two drones. Where did I get a fuel cell at? Whoa. I might die here. Oh, he's dead. Thank goodness. Alright, get out of here, get out of here. Go! All right, there we go. All right, and I will stop this one right here. I'd say we got a pretty good time for round five, and uh, I will hit you guys up in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then feel free to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and leave a like so that, um, well, so that I know you like it. <laughs> and without further ado, I love you, my people, and I hope you have a fantabulous day. Peace out.